Hey gang, we'll hear from the Ashland Fly Shop, and today we are taking a closer look at the Sage HD Trout Spay 11 foot 3 weight. Uh, the 11 foot 3 weight Trout HD from Sage is easily my, my favorite 3 weight uh, trout spay rod that I've cast. It just has the right combination of features that I'm looking for in a trout spay rod. I want something a little punchy. I like a little more lower end. I just want it to be a little bit more versatile. Um, I want to be able to cast, you know, off the top, really lightweight, you know, full leaders, um, some dry fly fishing, uh, you know, just long tapered leaders, Scandi style, and then I want to be able to drive it a little bit with a with a Skagit head and and a little bit bigger fly. Um, and this this rod will definitely do it all. You you could you really get the sense of it. You know, there's a lot of power in the lower end, um, and it's got that really crisp light. Um, um, tip on it. Um, really, really very, very smooth casting rod. So we'll talk about fly lines. The grain window on the rod, as it states on the rod actually, is uh, 250 to 300, which is really nice. I feel like they did a good job with that. I'm casting the Trout Spay line, uh, Rio Trout Spay line, um, in the 265 grains, and I like it. I like it quite a bit. Um, I feel like I just want a little bit more, kind of dig into it a little bit more. So if it was like 275 or 280, I feel like it would be really kind of perfect. So you could try 300, you know, these, these trout spay type, really short Scandi, compact Scandi heads um, really lend themselves to kind of driving with a little bit more weight. So I, I think you could pop up to 300 on this pretty easily. Um, and you just get a little more load on the rod, maybe carry a little bit more tip. But if you want something really light and smooth and you can put on, you know, a long 12 to 15 foot leader and fish, you know, soft tackles and things, the standard 265 trout spade would be great. The Rio Scandi body, which if you follow us, you know, we love, love, love that line. Um, that would also be very nice on here. And it comes in a 265 and it comes in a 300. The trout spay line is 22 feet, and I think the Scandi body would be uh, 23 or 4. So you'd get a little bit more grip in the water, and it would, uh, I think it would be a really cool line. I'm really partial to that Scandi body with that little bit more length. Uh, Skagit lines, kind of your choice. Um, there's so many choices now with the ultra short heads, the 16 footers, uh, uh, 20 footers, Skagit, Skagit Max short from Rio, commando heads. Line, I'm right here. Jesus Christ. Come on. Hey, etiquette dictates that you bump down when you're fishing. What are you, you talking know, about? You're, you're, I'm, I'm doing a review. We're doing a review of a rod here. I don't care about the review. The... You're taking up the prime water. God, Look at this! Here, unbelievable. There, oh my God. Now there's no fish happening, anyways. Look, Get out of here! Look, I was here. Get. I was. We were here first. Get! Get! Why do you need one? Look at. Why do you need one of those, anyways? Watch. Snap T. Oh wait. Oh yeah, yeah. That was excellent, excellent, excellent. Oh, Very nice, old man. Oh wait, man. wait, no. All right, you win that one, but get the hell out of here. Skagit heads that you can put on these rods. There's tons of choices these days, as you know. There's a million different kinds, the ultra short, the... Skagit lines you can put on these rods. You know, tons of choices these days. Lots of great, great choices. Um, the three that I'd really look at is Skagit Max short at 20 feet. If you do some spay casting, that's gonna be real familiar for you. Nice, smoother load. If you wanna go short, ultra short, I'd be looking at a uh, Skagit Scout, which is a really, really sweet head, or a Commando head. Um, you know, if you wanna go kinda of ultra short there. But anything, I'd say more standard Skagit is gonna be 300 grains. But somewhere in there for Skagit would be really good and allow you to carry kinda of the biggest fly you could get away with with this rod. You know, we get a lot of questions from customers uh, between the three weight and the four weight. Um, and it's a, it's a really good thing to think about because the three weight, you immediately get a sense, you know, if you are looking for um, you know, bigger fish, you're trying to cast a, a bigger fly, but you're really trying to keep that rod light. 
um, you know, you really want to consider that 11 foot three because it's a light rod. I mean, it feels really light. This would be a really fun uh, rod for fish size anywhere from like 12 inches, you know, up to, you know, easily up to 20 inches. Um, but, you know, I can really get a sense that it's probably not going to want to uh, cast some of the bigger sculpins and stuff that we see today that we like to fish for for you know late season browns late late season fish you know some of those big chunky fish I think your four weight is definitely going to be uh, the rod uh, uh, to look at in that the three weight is certainly kind of your lighter um, soft hackle uh, drive but still big water rod it'll still cast pretty far um, you can still punch it out there pretty far but you're gonna want to watch the fly size on the three weight uh, and tip size no doubt about it the whole Trout Spay HD series is a real classy looking rod it's got kind of a brown blank olive thread wraps kind of a unique wood reel seat just real classy looking series sage is kind of um, Kind of reintroduce some kind of classic rods this year with the LL and stuff and I feel like this is just in keeping with some of their newer kind of classy looking stuff so a real nice looking rod. Um, lots of real choices you could uh, choose with the Trout Spay HD the three weight. Um, I have an older kind of a classic reel it's about a four inch reel so you could put a four inch reel to three and three quarter inch reel um, I think at 11 feet, this rod is really versatile for reels. You just don't want anything too heavy, I would say. But, you know, there's probably even some five weight kind of large arbor, mid arbor reels, uh, five, six weight reels that you could put on here that would work. So a real, there's a real range of reels that you could put on here. Um, we're pretty partial to click reels um, with the trout spay rods, but, you know, any of the modern reels are, are beautiful on these as well. So the water we're fishing here today is really a classic type of, of water that I'd look for for trout spay fishing. Uh, any of these larger tailwaters that you find throughout the Midwest, throughout the Rockies, uh, some uh, in the East, these are really going to lend themselves as trout spay fishing. And I think that's why they've become so popular in these spots, because you can carry the larger flies, uh, larger tips and stuff with a little bit more ease. But there's a lot of fisheries um, there uh, where you don't have to drive big flies. And a lot of time of the year, you can fish soft tackles, you can swing small nymphs, even on bigger water. And I think that's where this 11 foot three weight is really going to come in handy where you just don't need the drive or the large fly capability of the 11 foot three inch four weight uh, but uh, but you want to cast some smaller flies and maybe the fish are a little bit smaller on average and that's where this rod is really going to be dreamy I'm, I'm thinking you know I'm thinking of some of the tailwaters in Colorado I'm thinking of the kind of Lee's Ferry area um, and some of the eastern tailwaters as well. Um, I think this would be a really exceptional rod um, um, for some of those fisheries where you can still cast far on larger water, but you're carrying um, a much lighter fly. And uh, the fish on average are on a, you know, more, more modest size, you know, 12 to 16 inches. This would be a really, really perfect rod for that. A lot of fun. So there you have it, 11 foot three weight Sage Trout Spay HD. Uh, my opinion, leading the pack for trout spay rods. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please call the shop if you have any questions. In stock, in store, and online at the Ashland Fly Shop. Thanks so much.